Feeling the shoulders fall, the feet flat on the floor, the jaw relaxing. Just breathing into the moment. Just connecting with the earth and I visualise roots growing from my feet deep down into the earth, through the studio floor, through the bedrock, into earth's core into a beautiful rose quartz crystal. Feeling that connection with the earth, the nurturing, the grounding. And then I call the angels in and guide the spirits and anybody who wants to work with us today. Call them into the space for protection and guidance. And I feel their presence by a fluttering of energy and movement around me. And then I visualize Archangel Chamuel pouring golden light through the top of my head. And I'm receiving it and it's coming down into my heart chakra. The energy is coming up from my feet and down from above and meeting in the heart. people to connect to their hearts with this beautiful energy. Be aware of the breathing. Just in and out. In and out. Just bringing us back to the moment. Feeling the connection with all that is. back to our home, back to our hearts, back to our creativity. So that vibration really bringing us back home, back to the body, back into the moment. Feet firmly on the ground. So we connect with the earth, connect with our hearts, and, can, and be here now in this moment, in the present. And when I'm teaching my classes, or for myself, I think it's so important to bring ourselves back, take this moment, all the inhibitions, all our worries outside the door, and just being aware of being here in this moment. And then all the fears are gone. We can have some fun with paint and amazing things happen. So I like to paint intuitively. So that's um, going on from the meditation to really just stay present and uh, play with the paint, go to the colors that I'm drawn to, just splash the paint around. I always start with painting like this. I find magic happens and stuff that you couldn't make up and it's lots of fun. So here we go. So I start off with spraying my paper with lots of water. I feel the paint really um, flows with the water, can really get some nice things happening. Um, I like to use lots of kitchen roll to mop up. So I've just got wet paper and I'm going to just start going to some colours and just really applying the paint. not really having a fixed idea what I'm doing just like to just really play with the paint 
you just get some lovely things happening just by just not really thinking too much what we're doing another part of my work uh, I was guided that I'd be doing portraits and uh, normally I'd be painting trees and nature spirits and I was like well I don't really do portraits and they're like no no you'll be doing people's higher selves portraits of people as they really are having a vision of their aura and their higher self and putting that onto paper so that they can recognize their own power and who they really are so my practice is creating art that helps others see that we are all part of the whole connected as one which helps us have compassion and understanding and be kind to everyone and ourselves of course I did some teachings with the Dalai Lama many years ago and it was absolutely incredible and very inspiring, especially at the end when there was questions, we could ask questions and somebody asked, what can we do about all the terrorism and all the trouble and strife in the world? Well, these terrible things are happening. And the Dalai Lama very wisely answered, well, we cannot change the past, but of course we can change the future. And the way to do that is to teach the children about love and kindness and compassion and at that moment I had a real light bulb moment and thought yes this is what I want to do and I thought oh I could illustrate a children's book a positive children's book and two weeks later somebody asked me to do just that and that was the beginning of my illustration career and then a couple of years later I woke up with this story in my head about a lonely hare whose mother had just died, who felt very alone in the world and didn't know what to do or how to make friends. And then he met a wise old apple tree who taught him to be himself, to be kind to others, how to make friends, and also that we cannot lose the love that we felt. It's always in our hearts. And I feel I want to share these lessons with children who in this world with so much media, I feel that you know, children feel they have to be so much and they never feel good enough and self-esteem can be very low. So um, my positive books um, can teach children to be who they are and know that that's enough. We are all different and also to be kind to each other and the world and earth that we walk on and create a better, more peaceful future. So that is my mission to get my books into the education system so that we all may live as one.